Hey there, so we're in my truck today. We're taking a look at a dash cam we've got here uh, from Speedle called the Mini Eye. And we'll just kind of do an unboxing as well as do an installation video. So, in this box. Inside. Comes with a few things. So, these little plastic sheets that'll be for the installation uh you get your little quick start guide comes with an installation tool to help you get it installed this is the rear camera this is a two camera system uh, and then this is the front facing camera power cord and then this is the Cord to connect the rear camera to the front camera. Uh, I don't know exactly how long this is. It doesn't actually say on here. Uh, this is a Suburban, so it's quite long. Uh, we'll see if it's long enough to do this. So that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in there, okay. Like I said, this is a, it's a two camera system. Uh, it has voice control. It has uh, uh, like, vehicle detection so if like you're coming up on a vehicle you make a sound um and also you can have it run 24 hours a day um so even when your vehicle is parked the cameras are still recording um pull this out of packaging here this is the front camera and it comes with nice 3m sticky stuff to put on there um and then it comes out of the mount just slides in and out of the mount. So if you wanted to take it out to uh, to get your card out of there, um, which there's already a flash card in here, that's a good thing to know. I thought I was gonna have to put one in there. It's 60, and you can't really see that, but 64 gigabytes. Okay, so that's the camera. So now let's do the installation. Okay, so this is the area where we're going to be mounting the camera. It's tucked in here behind the mirror, so you'll barely be able to see it. Step one is to clean off the area. You can use uh, like a glass cleaner. I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth and some isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that we get nice, good adhesion. Now, I had some residual adhesive from something else I had stuck up here, so I'm going to have to scrub kind of hard but I'm going to make sure that this area is totally clean so that everything sticks well. Okay, so now that that is good and clean, step number two is we put on this electrostatic sticker. Now the sticker has a little tab on it so let's peel this off before you put it on so I'll peel it off before you put it on. Now this sticker really is just to protect your glass because the adhesive on the camera is super strong. So make it easier to clean off once, uh, if you ever decide to remove it. Okay, so that goes on like that. What I'm actually gonna do is smooth all those air bubbles out of there so you can't even see this. And uh, what works really good for that actually a credit card so there's no like squeegee or anything that comes in the package so I'm just gonna use a credit card here and get all those air bubbles out of there so that, one it sticks well and two you can't even hardly see it once all of bubbles are squeegeed out of there. Looks quite good. Get the little ones in there. It's not that big of a deal. It's pretty much out of your view anyways, okay? So then the next step, I'm gonna close my alcohol here before I spill it all over, um, is to, to stick the camera itself on. So, um, it's important to note that on this camera here, uh, the it hinges, but it does not swivel. And so 
try and make sure that it's matted nice and straight, I'll take the, uh, the little protective film off the cover of the camera. And we'll just peel the adhesive backing off. And try and get this position as best we can so that it's pretty much out of the way. There we go. Now we're on there. And once that is stuck on there, it does not move. And I have a position so that I can see that button, so it's really easy to hit that. Easy that I can still move my mirror anywhere I might need it. And that appears to be on there pretty straight. It's a super wide angle camera, so it doesn't matter that much. All right, next step after that is to do the installation of the power cord. Okay, so I've installed the power cord now. Um, this is gonna be different on every single vehicle, so it's kind of pointless to go in depth in it, but the generalities of it are pretty similar. So um, it's a USB-C cable that comes with the camera, it plugs into the back of the camera. Essentially what you do is you run it up and then run it underneath the headliner, which is kind of this space up in here. You pry it down a little bit with the included tool. And I've just run it all along the edge of the headliner then down inside the A-pillar and then, uh, just because on my truck, it's kind of difficult to actually get the A-pillar thing off so I could run it. I actually just ran it on the outside, down the door, behind the glove box, and then down out here where my 12-volt uh, my plug is. Now, uh, it definitely could be a little cleaner. Um, it would have been great if this would have just been a, a USB plug that could plug into something that's already existing. I'll probably hardwire that at some point in the future. Uh, but this is what comes with the camera, um, and so that's just how I have it right now. Behind the glove box, outside, up into the A-pillar, underneath the headliner, across the top, down to the camera. It looks pretty clean. Now, this camera is super nice in that it not only has a front-facing camera, but it has a rear-facing dash cam as well. It comes with a super long cable that you can then connect to your rear. Now, in my case, like I said, every Every instance will be a little different, but because this camera is going on a Suburban that has these big barn doors on the rear, uh, cable routing is just kind of a nightmare. And so I won't actually be installing the rear camera for this vehicle, but it does come with it, which is very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the, uh, the setup to use the phone. So. Uh, first, you need to download the app. It's called Mini Eye International. There's a QR code in the instructional handout as well. And this guides you through everything. Okay, so first you hit Add Device. Okay, this is the C2L. So we'll open that up. Okay, so now we need to find it uh, via Wi Fi. So for an Android, um, Essentially what we'll do is we'll open this up and now you'll notice that the Mini i i6e2e67, that's it, okay. Now the password, if we go back, see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's connect to that. Okay, so now we're connected and come back here. And that, when it says uh, internet may not be available, that's fine, we'll only connect this time. Okay, let's go back. So we should be connected now. Okay. Oh, interesting. Well, let's see here, it says we're connected. whatever reason there it is all right it just took a second all right so now uh there are the different anti-collision settings that are available with this okay so let's take a look at this so it says rotate the camera to make the horizon align with the middle of the screen okay 
So here in my case, we, uh, we're actually probably pretty close because we're uh, down on the hill a little bit. But we will uh, we'll tilt this camera up a little bit. Okay, so now we are, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so now we're done with the camera adjustment. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, so this is definitely a large vehicle. And uh, now we set, you know, how far is the camera offset from that? And there's actually a tape measure that comes with the installation manual where you can measure it. So I'm just actually just going to measure it. Essentially, all you're measuring is how far the, the actual camera lens is from the center of the car, which should be pretty much the center of the mirror. Mine's offset a fair amount, about 12 and a half centimeters, okay? And so, all I'd then do is a, and it's towards the driver's side, right? So 10, 15, let's just call it 10. I guess we're closer to 10 than we are to 15. No, we're kind of right in the middle, but we'll do 10, okay? So there's already a memory card in there. I'll format the memory card. And the, uh, I don't know if you hear that, but the camera just gave me a cue. The formatting is completed. And it's, you know, giving me, okay, click here to take photos. Lock the video, change the anti-collision settings. Okay. So there we are, now we're into the app. We can actually get a view real time. Now we have to be connected to the device via Wi-Fi. It's not Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth would be a little nicer than Wi-Fi because if you, know, you can't be connected to Wi-Fi at the same, a different Wi-Fi network at the same time. But anyway, so this is this is what we get if we go to the anti-collision settings here. Uh, we can change the the sensitivity, uh, adjust the camera. We can change the size of the vehicle, change the position, anything like that. Okay. So uh, let's let's just keep it with super high for right now. Um, this, if you hit adjustment, it just brings you back to the leveling, which we already did. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so we've already been through all those. Now, if we go to custom settings, we can change the individual alarms that we have available to us. So the forward collision warning, stop and go, collision sensor, etc. Okay. I'm not going to change any of those right now. We'll kind of have to see how things go as we go for a drive. Okay. Now I can lock lock the camera. I can unlock the camera. Um, I can take a picture. And if I hit the rotate button here, uh, it would take me to the rear camera. But I don't have a rear camera. Uh, installed on this vehicle right now, okay? If I go to device album, it'll show me any recordings, okay? And how big they are, um, right? And this is, hey, if something's been detected, I'll record it there. These are ones that I actively did, and these are the auto recording, okay? So now if I uh, select these, I can either download them or I can delete them. We'll delete them. Okay, and I don't know if you can hear that, but every time that the video recording is turned on, uh, it gives you an audio prompt, which is nice. Nice feature. Okay. Now, I will say that this is supposed to have an auto on, auto off, but my USB port is on all the time regardless, so uh, this just seems to run all the time, which is fine. It doesn't use up that much battery. All right. What we're going to do actually is, uh, I'm going to go for 
a little drive and we'll see how the device does. Video recording turned on. Okay, so some final thoughts on the uh, the Mini Eye. Um, the video quality is really nice. The installation was super straightforward. Uh, there were some little things with my specific application that I couldn't really use the rear camera. Um, I did find an issue where uh, I couldn't change the kilometers per hour to miles per hour uh, on my recordings, except for uh, after I had to update the firmware, which you can do from the app. That was actually pretty easy to do and pretty straightforward. Uh, overall, it seems like it's a really good value, especially for the the video quality. Um, I didn't actually have any alarms go off for the uh, collision detection or anything like that. Uh, I tried just like getting close to the vehicles to see if anything would happen, but they didn't. Um, and as you saw in the, the video sample, I mean, I didn't get any warnings for that at all. So. Not sure how well that works, but I mostly got it just for the recording purposes anyways, uh, and for that it's working great.